What's up with it? My Southern Opinion. We back. Ultimate Madness 5 went down yesterday. Did you miss it? Don't worry about it. I got you. Uh, let me start off with the face offs. Face offs was pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Other than JC not being there. Um, Sheet Happens was the most entertaining. Sheet Happens True Foe. True Foe showed up. You know, Ski Mask. Uh, you know, typical Chicago native, eyes showing, all this covered up, you know, hat on. Uh, but she happened showed up in a jail jumpsuit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, looked like a looked like a damn costume character he got off from Party City. Uh, had the fake handcuffs and everything. Uh, his whole thing was I robbed somebody last week so I've been in jail Atlanta jail for two weeks I've never been home because of the nun nun robbery alright this is the face off now we get to the battle true foe came into this battle I mean uh, sheet happens just like he did the face offs like I robbed a man last week so let me make sure I kill it this week that's exactly how you could tell his mindset this is one of the best sheet happens you ever seen. Sheet happens, uh, he went crazy, to be honest with you. And uh, he got this 3-0. No chokes, no stumbles. Uh, material very calculated. You can see his pen. You can see why Calico went crazy last week for it. Uh, he just went crazy this week. And um, he wrote on the incline. Like, he went going uphill. He went going upstairs. His material didn't get watered down this week. He didn't get worse. He got better this week. And uh, another person that done that was Swamp. But we'll get back to that in a minute. True Foe versus Rasheed Happens was a very good battle on True Foe behalf and on Sheed half. Especially on Sheed. She did his thing. This is one of the best Sheed happens you ever want to see. If too, too bad it's going to be in a bubble. He won't get to show it. Uh, it's not a YouTube drop. Because if it was you would get to see all the little small leagues that don't have the apple. Get to see Sheed happens potential. And um, his stage presence. One of the reasons why he is a want to be seen talent in battle rap. Well, yeah, she got this 3-0. Let me move on to the next. Next face-off we had was Fonz versus Real Sick. And this is the best face-off of the night. Fonz have been talking crazy. Basically saying Real Sick ain't, ain't, ain't what that is. Like, he all right, he rapidy rap. But it's a difference when it come to me. You know, it's typical what battle rappers say. This guy's not on my level. Uh, I'm about to show you. Real Sick saying the same thing. You ain't... It actually made him mad. This is the most worked up you ever seen Real Sick. Or, um, he usually has like a Tim Duncan mentality. Like, I'm here to work. I'm not finna show you no uh, emotion or anything. But Fonz brought it out of him. Next thing you know, he was raising his voice. You could tell he had a mad. Um, going into the battle now. First off, let me start with Real Sick. Real Sick did very good. He did his usual. He rapped. He rapped very good. Uh, but also, the kind of style that he has, it takes a while to get to the punch. Depending on your opponent... Sometimes it's, it's not really needed to get to the punch fast, if you, in my opinion. But in this battle here, compared to his opponent, I feel like his punches took way too long to get to. Uh, you got Fawns punching every line, damn near. It, it's a big difference. Um, I had Fawns 3-0 this battle. I had him 3-0 because round one, I felt like he got that. 
uh, round one's probably the most debatable. I felt like Fonz got it. Now, I can see why somebody said real sick because, I mean, don't get me wrong. When he is punching and he has a haymaker, it hit. But also, I just felt like Fonz had more. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. Real sick had his punches. He had his haymakers. I just felt like Fonz had more of it. And had the longer rounds. Uh, I feel like Real Sick had some short rounds. Compared to Fonz. Um, he, he he just ended his. Fonz had they had to call time on him. You know, it was a it's a bit of a difference when you look at the rounds, how long they were. And if he had his rounds were longer than his, that's an easy way to say that Fonz won this battle. I mean, y'all both punching. But if one person cuts his round off and the other one's longer, then evidently who has the most, you know, who had the most haymakers and punchlines that round? Especially when you got a gentleman who's punching every other line. I mean, Fonz is, that's this what battle rap is. You want to say something that, you know, it make you want to rewind it or, you know, you want to you wanna take something from the battle and remember it the next day. You know, there's lines that I can. Also, Real Sick had some. The, the you had a dollar in a dream. I had a nickel in a nightmare. That was one of them you're going to remember the next day. You know what I mean? Um, Fawns had a lot of those this battle. And um, by it being, you know, the second battle of the night, hearing, watching stuff, you know, it covers up your memory of stuff you just watched so that's what it all come down to uh, your bars is you want something that's going to be remembered you know other than just a nice rap you don't know what he said 10 minutes later you know what I mean that's why I say the punches matter because it's all about rapping everybody can rap but what, what can you take from his round that you got well, you remember his first round in the third, you know, stuff like that. So I just felt like Fawn's material hit more along uh, in that sense, you know. Both of these gentlemen rap good, but I just felt like you can receive Fawn's material more than you can Sick. He had more punches. And um, I also look at the substance and is it catered to your opponent or not. I felt like Fawn's um, checked all the boxes when it came down to my critiques of uh, battle rap. I got Fawn's on this 3-0. I see how you gave it to... I see how some people gave sick 2-1 or, you know... A lot of people saying it's a preference battle. I don't really see that because, I'm like I said, I'm a fan of both of these gentlemen. I, it was hard for me to pick, a, pick somebody in my prediction video. You can see it. I got Fonz uh, because he won a tournament before, and I know them punches hit a little hard and, and just good rapping. But I think Fonz definitely got this 3-0. Uh, if I was going to give Sick a round, maybe it'd have to be the second. But um, Fonz clear, man. Especially the first and third. It was... It was 2-0 going into the third to me. So, like I said, I had Fawns all the way. You got real sick. I know this is a preference battle. So, you know, I ain't got too much to say to that. Moving on. We got a gentleman that just went crazy. And um, solidified himself. You know what I'm saying? That, that performance here yesterday was saying... You got me fucked up. I'm here. Now in the face off. He um, he wasn't even paid like he was there. But he wasn't there in the face off. Uh, Jay Black will be saying something to him. He, huh? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm zoned in. You know what I mean? And you could tell. Uh, after what happened. You could definitely tell Swamp was zoned in. He wasn't cared about nothing. Yeah, he was reciting his rounds while they was doing the face-off. Had to be in. Um, to tell you the truth, I don't know what Swamp did to prepare for this battle. 
From here on out, this is what he needs to do to prepare for a battle. Swamp was perfect. This battle, uh, this is probably one of the best swamps you've ever seen. Other than that second round where he had to stumble. I'm not going to even say a choke. He had a stumble. He said something, repeated it. Then he said, ah, oh, fuck. Maybe that was because he did the stumble in the first place. And he knew his round wasn't clean. But he never lost it. He never, ah, oh, wait a minute. Uh, hold a minute. Wait a minute. Y'all got it. Fuck. Shit. You know, like, he, he never just really lost his, his, he never really lost his place. You know what I'm saying? He, he was there. He just had to repeat it. I don't really call that a choke. Um, but when you look at his opponent, really, Nitty had the same slight stumble that round. So, you know. I don't really, I don't count that. I really had Swamp winning the first two rounds. Going into the third, Swamp up 2-0. But I said to myself, Swamp, you need to go ahead and win this third so it won't be no talk. It won't be no, you know, oh, this debatable. Swamp, I think, I think, uh, Nitty got the second and the third. You see what I'm saying? So, Swamp come in third round, he just really took off his third round. He really solidified it, letting you know, like, I'm here. Yeah, Swamp let it be known, I'm here. And I ain't going nowhere. That was clearly what I got from his third round. Also his first two rounds. Now we had a couple of trailers. Also Swamp got the fan vote. Um, I think all the judges vote too. If I ain't mistaken. No. Yeah, he did. Excuse me, that was Cola that uh, devoted for real sick on the fawns. That went 2 2. I think it went to judges. They announced a couple of battles. Also, known I did not oh man I didn't know known was July 9th I thought it was July 29th this seems kind of rushed I'm not going to even lie to you this this known seems kind of rushed if this is one of the biggest events of the year why rush it Man, I thought this was some trolling. I thought dude just... Because, you know, people make flyers up all the time with bogus matchups. There is a matchup that's coming up in the next two weeks that clearly makes this Ultimate Madness one of the best ones ever. And this is on the the third week. I mean, uh, two weeks from now when they have the, the finals, letting you know who's going to know them. The third week of this tournament, they got a couple of more battles. To go with the ones they had, and it's gonna let you know who's going to know. Okay, you're gonna have. They said, by the way, JC versus Head Ice. Let me get, let me say that real quick. JC versus Head Ice didn't go down. JC wasn't there yesterday. His flight was late. They said. He had a tweet as soon as the event was over around 6 o'clock saying, I just touched down. I'm going straight to the stage. I guess the battle happened at like 9 o'clock at night. 8 o'clock at night. Because there's a video. Hip Hop is real. Head Ice has an interview right after the battle's over. He felt like he won 2-1. But JC won. JC will be going against Sheet Happens. Also... You will have Swamp 
versus Fawns. Soon as Swamp won, Fawns got all up in his face. This looks Fawns is on a mission. You know what I'm saying? Swamp was hungry. But Fawns, he's definitely hungry. And he's calling people out. And his promo is A1. I can't wait to see this battle. I know it will definitely be a good one. And, um, like I say, this is becoming to be one of the best tournaments when it comes to the ultimate madness. Now, we get back to two weeks from now. The, 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 the little matchup they had before the known. It's a nice little card they put together. Check this out. You got none, none. Who's he going to be going against? Oh, Red. Then you got... <laughs> I still can't believe this. I thought this was a troll. I thought, man, you got Stumbles versus Snake Eyes. What? It's finally going down. Snake Eyes versus Stumbles. Stumbles and his partners beat up Snake Eyes and his manager, stole his belt, and now they about to battle. I never thought I'd see this battle. A nigga put hands and feet on me and my manager. I accept the battle. Now this goes from app only to on caffeine free for us. That's a plus. I love it. I love it because, to be honest with you, this bubble, I mean, this app, it's killing people. I look at the people who's not on the app, the A Wars and the Chef Trez and all that, who battles dropped straight to YouTube. That app is trash, man. I'm going to go ahead and say it. That app is not worth it. Um, it's hard to get it was hard to get my credit card off of there. I stopped paying. I let my card get in the negative and so it wouldn't auto draft cuz I think once it once it try to auto draft and it don't work, it won't do it anymore. Like it won't even mess with you that next month. So I, I got URL taken off. And I probably won't get it back, man. I'm being honest with you. You know, I got shout out to my bootleggers. There's ways to see battles. You don't have to. It ain't about the money. It's about y'all not dropping nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to be honest with y'all. Now, if you ain't never had the URL app, yeah, by means, get it. It's going to be all kind of battles on there. It's definitely worth it. But if you don't see, if you're caught up to date and you got all the battles, you done seen everything, nah. Save yourself. Because they, once they get their credit card, it's hard to get your shit back. You are wrong wrong little motherfucker for that. I just got to call it like it is. Gnome, it looks like it's going to be about five, six battles for Gnome. Like I say, they done rushed it. Last year, it was around June 23rd. The year before, I believe it was June 29th, something like that. This year, it feels rushed. June 9th? I think Rum Nitty's on the card, if I ain't mistaken. I know for sure T-Top's on known. Will he be going against Tayrock? Um... It's a couple matchups that's been brewing. You got to pay attention to the internet. People be talking shit to each other for a reason. Nine times out of ten, they got a battle coming up. When Miss Hustle was dissing Vixen, I'm thinking to myself, damn, that was her friend, but why is she... Damn, just because she did good against Rock? You finna hate on her? Oh, shade? Nah, they, now they end up battling. That's why. It was already talks. As soon as they probably had that call from Remy Ma, talking about, hey, you want to be on my next card? 
you know, uh, have your phone, you know, have your phone available. I'll be, I'll be hitting you up in the next few weeks. That's enough to, to get on the internet and start talking shit about your opponent right then. You want to talk about anybody who's been talking shit. For Noam, I hear they got Averb versus Surf. That's been brewing lately. You got... Hmm. I did a video on this a few months ago. They're supposed to be putting their cars up. Jack Boy Main vs. K Shine. That's another one for Noam. Any of these battles I just named, let me know how you feel about it in the comments. But yeah, this was a good event. Like I say, this Ultimate Madness is starting to become a favorite. Um, URL was stalling. But then, too, they did tell you that the battle started at 3. So if they tell you the stuff is going to start at 3, and they go and lie, and they, and they start at 2, like they do their countdown at 2, it's going to be an hour of stalling. That's what that's telling you. The battles really started at about 3.20, almost 3.30. So, you know, I think they did their countdown starting at 2.30, where it was counting down on caffeine, doing the countdown to their countdown show. It had been about two weeks. I'm glad to get some battle rap, tell you the truth. But man, didn't I tell you Swamp was going to win? I told y'all Swamp was going to win. I said it's a surprise factor. Swamp barely got through the skin of his teeth with Shotgun Shug. I really think Shotgun Shug won that. But now, y'all give, give it to Swamp. Fan vote. There might have been a lot of ladies voting for him. You know what I'm saying? Or, I don't know. But I know one thing. Shook won that. And for it to go to the fans vote and swamp the win, I knew this week the same thing could happen. But, he did just like True Foe. And he said, okay, well I didn't do that good last week or I barely won last week. This week, let me separate it. It won't be no debate. It won't be no... Uh, won't be no talk of, like did I win this or not that's what he did he went upstairs he said I'm gonna separate this shout outs to Swamp shout outs to Trufo shout outs to Sheet Happens shout outs to Real Sick and Fonz shout outs to everyone that was in the Ultimate Madness yesterday Head Ice JC uh, shout outs to everybody that was in it can't wait till next two weeks. See what's gonna happen next. But I said Swamp was gonna be the uh, Rum Nitty. Shout out to Nitty too. I said Swamp was gonna be Nitty. I said that. Y'all be talking crazy on the spaces, man. Like I get it, y'all fans of them, but these are humans at the end of the day. A motherfucker can't lose. I talking about Nitty can't ever lose. Like, come on now, niggas are only human. I never thought I'd be saying Nitty fight back. Why the hell not? You need to put their pants on the same way you put yours on, one leg at a time. You know what I'm saying? They sit on the on the commode as soon as the same as you do. Niggas ain't niggas ain't different. Niggas don't sleep standing up, you know what I'm saying? This is my seventh opinion. If you missed it, hey, now you know. That's exactly what happened. Ultimate Madness 5. Appreciate y'all for watching. Holler at y'all next time.